What's up YouTube, this is Joe from Zephyr War Games, and I'm bringing to you guys a requested profile on our Facebook and that is a Raid Raptors deck. Now this is taking into consideration the rule change and like how time plays out and other stuff like that, the ban lists and everything. So with all that said and done guys, it's a very interesting profile I've got for you here. Some very interesting text and um, I'm just going to head right into it basically. So, we have, you obviously you got to have three Banishing Layers. Banishing Layers is still, in my eyes, the best Raid Raptor in the deck. It gets your boards going, swarms the field, and once we get that Dark Link in the next set, this card is going to be even better. So, we got to have that. Three Mimicry. When it's sent to Graveyard, you can just banish it and add yourself a Raid Raptor card from your deck to your hand. It adds so much consistency. It also helps you go into your rank 5 plays by when it's normal special summon, you can increase all Raid Raptors levels by 1. Uh, next you have your Tribute Lanius, this on normal special summon sends a Raid Raptor from your deck card from deck to grave. Send your Mimicry, Mimicry Banish, add a card, so just literally adds so much consistency. Next we have free Pain Lanius, target Raid Raptor on your field, take damage equal to its attack or defense, whichever is lower, your choice if tied. Special summon this card and it, it has the same level as the one you took damage from. And then you have your one last Strix and one Singing Lanius. And that is, believe it or not, all the Raid Raptors I play. Yes, I do not play Fuzzy. And I do not play a whole bunch of other stuff that probably most traditional Raid Raptors decks play. Because I don't want to lock myself into Raid Raptors. I feel like... Before it was fine. Before Master War 4 that was fine. You can do all your Raid Raptor swarms and plays and just go absolutely ham. Because you weren't locked into one extra monster zone. Now we've got to incorporate links. And for most decks it's fine. Things like DDs and stuff like that. They can play around that. They can make the links and then they can still do everything else afterwards. For Raid Raptors it's very difficult. And so I didn't want to put things like Fuzzy Lanius and stuff like that. Because then you want to go to your Fuzzy play. But then you realise, oh crap, I can't do anything else. Um, I can't link some and stuff like that. So I've chosen these Raid Raptors because they all swarm the fields. They all get bodies onto the board. They all add consistency. But they don't lock you in. So that's why I've gone for these ones. And to round up the monsters though. for To help you with your link plays. I've gone with the Venus Engine. Believe it or not guys, this actually does work. I did uh, a couple of test hands before I did this deck, uh, before I recorded this deck profile. And in, I did three test hands, and in two of those I ended with a Sayudra, four Strix, and a Babuska with a card or two set. It's a, it was a very strong board, it was a very good board. It reminded me <laughs> back in the day how like Raid Raptors can just go ham, just make summon anything they want. And the Venus engine really helps because getting that Sudra not only unlocks three zones for you, gives your monsters a buff, and it also um, fixes your hands. So, like, I'd go from a Venus into, like, the Sudra, who then gets me to the Vanishing, who then gets you to some a four Strix, who then gets you into something else. It, like, just, it's amazing how one play can just, like, get you into so many others. And the Venus engine really helps with that. Try it out, guys. It's a very interesting engine. It's a very interesting monster count. And it really does work. I wouldn't profile it to you guys if it didn't. <laughs> so, those are all the monsters we play. For consistency, I have three nests. An allure, one for one, and foolish burial. The... Free law is standard, everything except for the Venus engine is a dark, and you play multiples of like stuff that you don't mind banishing, especially things like tribute and mimicry and pain. So you don't mind banishing the odd card just to get into your Venus to then get you to everything else. Um, the free nest, I've always been an advocate of free nest because you, um, at the very least, I've always been an advocate of two. Um, but I've always played free in all of my Raid Raptor builds just because it adds so much consistency. You want to see Nest because Nest just gets you those extra pieces that you need. And on your next turn, next following turns, Nest just literally makes you go crazy. You just get so much advantage over your opponent with it. You just make so many different monsters from your extra deck. 
The One Foolish Burial is like an additional tribute to Syndrome Mimicry. Um, there will be hands where like you do your Venus and then you would get into like you won't get into the vanishing but you'll get into this so you can send your mimicry mimicry gets into the vanishing it's very very nice and the one one for one it's weird but you only have like four targets in the deck being your three pains and your one last tricks but it just helps you get an additional rate raptor body on the board so those are the consistency cards for your rank cups because this is obviously a raptor deck i played three of the best ones soul shave and I play one skip and one raid. Uh, Soul Shave is pretty much standard in all Raid Raptor decks. Just literally accesses anything in your extra deck that you just want. So that's why I got that. The one skip force is kind of like an additional Soul Shave. But you know you can only summon a Raid Raptor off it. But it just jumps it by two levels. And the one raid just because you do have that one rank 5 in the extra deck. That can really seal you the game. With this new wall change. And then last of the spells is pretty cool by the graves. I don't play Monster Do Ball in this deck because ideally the only thing you'd be reviving is things like Vanishing and stuff like that. And I Nest can just grab you that back to your hand. Yes, yeah, so you can grab a card from deck called Grave to your hand and also um, Four Strix does the same thing. So they kind of like they act their own very Monster Do ones. I only play 4 traps in this deck, which is 1 Soul and Warning, 2 Icarus Attacks and 1 Readiness. Readiness is really good in this format now, um, you can just send it off the Tribute, and then the, your opponent can't burn you for that turn, so um, you just by banishing it. And then you've got the Icarus Attack, um, it can really help those dead hands being at least decently live, and as a stun hand, we can just like summon a Raid Raptor if it gets stopped, cool, set Icarus Attack, their turn, flip it, pop 2 cards. It's a very, very strong card, and the one warning just to stop all of those summons that you don't want to deal with. So that's the main deck, the extra deck. I've gone for the stuff that I can see myself needing at the very most. So for links, I've gone for these five. The, um, the obvious ones in here are these three. The Link Spider, the Unduk, and the One Sayudra, those are for your Venus engine. These two I picked because they're pretty generic and help you in certain situations. A uh, Nightmare Goblin is just overall a very nice link. If you can get one, I say get one. Um, it can, it's a very splashable link. You can just summon it. And so long as you got it in the ones going diagonal, or you can you know, dish your cards, get an additional normal. So for a deck like this, you can just get an additional normal and like a Vanishing. And then just completely go off with that. It's just absolutely crazy. And then you want Trispania because there's a lot of back row decks going around. There's a lot of strong back row going around. And if you've got Trispania, it's very easy to pull. Um, you can uh, just really just hurt those matchups. Those are the links I play. Only five links, so it's 10 XCs. I always like Zero Fine in my Red Raptor decks just because it just literally steals games for you. One Babuska. Because it's a really good stun card. Two four streaks. You can bump this up to three. I had it at three, but I had to make room for something else. Um, as a soul shave option. So two four streaks. You gotta have at least two. The one Stranger Falcon. Um, this is what I was saying about the Raid Force spell. This card is really good for getting not only opposing monsters off the board, but um just doing that burn damage. One for the sixes, I have one Cyber Dragon Infinity and two Revolution Falcons. Revolution Falcons is such a strong link. You get it out, everything drops to zero, and you can attack everything, just deal massive damage. But then the Infinity is there for the negates. For the rank eight, I have the uh, Satellite Cannon Falcon. And then for the obvious ten, you've got your Ultimate Falcon. Your big, big boss monster. And that dies, dies, <laughs> and that guys is the deck. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a very unique build, yes, but it strangely does work, guys. It really does work. It works very nicely. It's very consistent, very strong. It really just gets those boards that, yeah, they're not like what we did before very, very easily, but it's still a big board nonetheless. It gets you your plays going, gets you set up, and it stuns your opponents, and you but uh, the options are there for you. The thing is with Ray Raptors, I can, you can have this deck, you can have, you can build this main deck, fine, card for card, 
but your extra can be completely different. And what's in your extra is what your boards will be like. So, guys, give it a go. See what you can come up with. Test hand your test hands away. Do as much as you can. And but I, overall, I do hope this that this helps. Um, it's just something I've come up with, and it just does work. And that's all I like to bring to you guys: a working deck profile that you can take and mold into what you would like to um, create. So. All that said and done, guys, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Post to the Facebook or whatever you want to post. Decks that you would like to see. And if we have the time, we will bring it to you. Because we like to do that. We like to help. So, with all that said and done, guys, again, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, guys, as always, happy dooling. What's up, YouTube? Thanks for watching that video. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button. And of course, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button in the bottom left-hand corner and the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. We've got more deck profiles, duels, pack openings, and many more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos coming up for you all year round. So don't forget to stay tuned for all of that. Thanks, and as always, guys, happy dueling.